हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेमस फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 41 वन प्लस एंटर द स्मार्ट टीवी मार्केट इन द सेकंड हाफ ऑफ 2021 इवन आफ्टर ओवर अ ईयर द ब्रांड्स टेलीविजन आर स्टिल एक्सपेंसिव टू इंडिया करंटली द कंपनी सेल्स अ टोटल ऑफ फायर टीवी मॉडल्स अक्रॉस डिफरेंट प्राइस सेगमेंट्स बट इट डज नॉट सेल एनी एक्सेसरीज फॉर देम थैंकफुली दैट इज गोइंग टू चेंज विद द लॉन्च ऑफ अ न्यू वेबकैम अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिपोर्ट OnePlus will be soon launching a webcam for its smart TVs. This product is said to have passed the prototype phase. OnePlus webcam for smart televisions will be plug and play type and will also have a shutter. This implementation reminds us the recently launched TCL P725 series TV in India which also come up with similar type of camera. Oppo has confirmed that it will launch the latest mid-range smartphone Oppo F19 on April 6th in India. After the launch of Oppo F19 Pro series in India last month, the company also said that they will be hosted the fastest launch event, first ever fastest launch event under brand Oppo with the famous stand-up comedian Zakir Khan. Oppo revealed that this will be a sleek smartphone and it is powered by 5000 mAh battery that supports a 33 watt flash charge which gives up to 5.5 hours talk time with 5 minutes of flash charge that charges 54% in 30 minutes and 100% in 72 minutes the phone will come with a full hd plus amoled punch hole display Nokia mobile brand license HMD Global will host an event on April 8th where new phones are expected to be launched the company has not clarified what products are coming though past leaks suggest that arrival of Nokia G10 Nokia G20 Nokia X10 and Nokia X20 the global event will start at 3 pm UK time it would be like 7:30 pm IST and Nokia mobile fans can watch the live stream via Nokia YouTube and other official channel Japanese manufacturer Sony has announced a new event for April 14th where the company is expected to launch a new Xperia smartphone the update about the upcoming Sony event comes from the Xperia's YouTube channel's banner the upcoming flagship is rumored to be called the Sony Xperia 1 while the compact smartphone is reported to be called the Sony Xperia Compact and could end up as a Android competitor for iPhone 12 mini Infinix has already started teasing the smartphone's launch in India on Twitter and a report by Smart Price says that Infinix Hot 10 Play will launch in the country on April 19th at 12 p.m. IST. Since the device is already out in the open in other regions, we are not new to its specifications and feature. Infinix Hot 10 Play in Pakistan and the Philippines has a huge 6.82 inch HD plus display with a water drop notch. Under the hood, the device is powered by MediaTek Helio G25 chipset and this is paired with 2 GB of RAM and 32 GB of storage there is a possibility that it would get a 4 GB of RAM and a 64 GB of storage variant too but let's wait for the official word Huawei has confirmed that it will launch its new smartwatch Amazfit Pip Pro Pro with built-in GPS and Alexa support in India next week. It is similar to Amazfit Pip Pro that was launched back in October last year, and the Pip Pro Pro will also be available on Amazon.in and the Amazfit India website. It will have a 1.43 inch colorful TFT touch display with 50 watch faces and has 5 ATM water resistance and battery life up to 9 days and Bluetooth music control as well. Huawei Business Group announced that it is gearing up for the launch of company's first desktop monitor. The new monitor is simply dubbed as the Huawei Display 23.8 inch. The launch of the new monitor is set as the company's initiative to invest and venture into a new product category to diversify its electronic product portfolio. This is also a part of the Chinese tech chain's OnePlus 8 Plus N strategy. The new monitor features a near bezel-less display similar to the one seen in laptop offerings from the company. Xiaomi has launched a new product that will facilitate the drying of your clothes. The product is known for Mejia cloth dryer 10 kg that's because of it has 10 kg carry capacity. Mejia cloth dryer adopts heat pump drying which is capable of getting the clothes dried immediately. It is washed such that it can be worn immediately. Thus you don't have to worry about hail, wind and rain. Realme C20, 21 and 25 are set to launch in India on April 8th. The company has officially revealed that the online launch event that will begin at 12:30 p.m. IST on their official YouTube channel. Realme C20, C21 and 25 will go on sale on Flipkart as the e-commerce platform that began teasing the launch. All these three upcoming Realme C series phones comes with similar design 
They sport a water drop display and a square shaped camera module. Only the Realme C21 and C25 comes with a rear mounted fingerprint sensor. The Realme C20 comes with a 6.5 inch HD plus display and it is powered by MediaTek Helio G35 chipset. The entry level phone is offered with 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. Other specifications include 8 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel of front facing camera. This phone packs a 5000mAh battery and supports 10 watts charging. The Realme C21 comes with a similar specifications as Realme C20. It also features a 6.5 inch HD plus display and the MediaTek Helio G35 chipset. The phone comes with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. Realme C21 offers a triple rear camera at the back that includes 13 megapixel primary sensor and a 2 megapixel of macro lens and a 2 megapixel of black and white camera. This phone also packs a 5000mAh battery and comes with a micro USB port for charging. Realme C25 which offers a 6.5 inch HD plus display and with a MediaTek Helio G70 chipset. This phone comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. It features a 14 megapixel of triple camera system and a 8 megapixel of front facing camera. Realme C25 houses a bigger 6000mAh battery and supports 18 watt fast charging. Realme X7 Pro Extreme Edition price and specifications has been revealed in China. Realme X7 Pro Extreme Edition comes with a 90Hz AMOLED display. The phone is equipped with MediaTek Dimensity 1000 SOC and paid with up to 12GB of RAM. The X7 Pro Extreme Edition is priced around 25,000 rupees. Realme Narzo 30 live images and specifications were leaked out. The specifications may include a 5000mAh battery and a 30W fast charging and it will be having an in-display fingerprint sensor. The phone will come with a punch hole camera and a triple rear camera and it will come in 4G and 5G variants. Oppo Reno6 with 65W charging and a 5G connectivity is spotted on 3C website. Oppo Reno6 will come as a successor to the Oppo Reno5 that was launched last year. The key specifications may include 90Hz OLED display, MediaTek Dimensity 1200SOC. Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 has received the FCC certification. The upcoming tablet bears a model number YTK606F. Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 was recently spotted on Google Play console and a Greek bench. The specifications would include the Snapdragon 855 SoC and it comes with 8GB of RAM and it runs on Android 11 OS and it also supports dual band Wi-Fi. Lenovo will be announcing the Legion 2 Pro gaming smartphone in China on April 8th. Today the company took a Weibo to confirm the display size and the supported refresh rate. Lenovo has confirmed that the Legion 2 Pro smartphone will be sporting a massive 6.92 inch display. In comparison, the original Legion Pro from last year featured with a smaller 6.55 inch AMOLED display. While the company has also increased the screen size, the refresh rate remains at 144Hz like the predecessor model. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.